Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Greg M. here, track and field, covering the European Championship Munich. And as you can see, that was a photo finish 100 meter for the women. 10.99, looking him, Kempo. I mean, she took it out there, I mean, came back, uh, caught Kambuji, neither tried to make a comeback. I, I thought Kambuji was going to win, but, you know, she couldn't hold her top end speed. And she, you know, ended up in second. Season best for uh, the young German, 10.99. And Nida was able to get in there again. Still elusive of getting that goal for the European Championships. Disappointing for, for um, Dina Asha Smith, man. She picked up some kind of injury again. I don't know how bad it is. I heard other YouTube videos where people are saying she must have caught a cramp or whatever. But we'll see. If she runs the 200, that means, you know, she... Not as you know, it was not some kind of body injury, just a cramp that she was able to come back from. But the 100 meter put a lot of stress on your on your muscles, man, to compete that that high level, high intensity. You know, it, it's a lot of, of caution and care you got to put into your preparation to make sure that you know your muscle is not so stressed that you pick up a cramp. So that's it. Very good run by Looking Kempo, and she has a future. If she she's only going to keep improving from there. Anita, I think, has a potential for for a big improvement for the future also. So look out for her in this space. Just want you to take a look at the picture though. Look at this photo finish. I mean, look at that finish. Talk about that daddy. All of them coming to the line at the same time. You know, that's usually one of the more exciting races, you know, for the finish have to be looked at with a, with a keen eye to see, you know, whose hip was across first. You know, it's, it's usually something that you have to sit and wait for a while, you know, but thank goodness for the finish, you know, in the age of technology. But you can tell, looking Kempa boy, she really came back at the end. Kambuji was trying to hold that lead, but couldn't but that was a great finish a good race not as far as the jamaicans you know with shelly and fraser price and sharika jackson and so forth but you know hey these women still got improvements to make so look out for these women especially the young german so let me go on top about the men next yes jacobs winning the 100 in my opinion quite comfortably hughes Hanging in there for second, a zoo coming up from the outside for third. Good race for Jacobs. I think he's built back his confidence after you know the disappointment and some injury problems and whatever else was going on with him. But he, him and his coach and team put things together, and he, you know we can look forward to seeing him next year for the World Championships. I'm just hoping that everyone stay healthy. And we can see some great performances for the for the ending of the season and then see who's gonna come up on top for next year. But plenty of things to look forward to for next year. But there it is, Jacobs quite comfortable. The winner, European champion. Alright, here's the main hundred meter finals, European Championship. Marcel Jacobs took it again, 9.95. Hughes, 9.9. Nine nine Azu ran out a ten one three personal best. So this young man gotta watch him. He's gonna keep improving. And if his coach work with him and work out the kinks and get some things together, put his race plan together. But that's gonna have to be done in the off season. Um, Jacobs equal a championship record after some disappointments. He pulled out of the world championship after the heats. And it looked like he's back together with seeing where he's at and where he's, you know, he can go from here, you know, for next year. So that was a, a you know, good race, good smooth race. Uh, Jacobs to me didn't really get a, a fast start. He was playing it safe. And he came back and just, you know, hit that top end speed and was able to get that championship record or equal it. I think if he had had a better start, Better drive phase, he, he could have um, run 9.90 or 9.89. But it was a good race overall for the European Championships. So 
we have to watch Jacobs for the future. You know, look out for this man. He's going to come back. Hughes still got some work to do. I think he trains in, in a, down in Jamaica in his preparations. But um, we, we'll see if he keeps putting things together. He has to work some things out. Uh, Azu up and coming. But anyway, that's it for, for my commentary, the men. You know, we have meets to look forward to. There's a couple of meets coming up. Um, Golden, I mean, Diamond League meets. So we'll see if some of these guys come back to run. Definitely the women coming up against, um, you know, Shelly and Fraser Price, I think. I have one more race that she's going to run. I forgot where the location is. Somebody can probably tell me. I'll look it up. But, um, but yeah, just wanted to cover this. Good race. European Championships having some pretty decent performances and i just wanted to just kind of cover that and you know look forward to some more uh, results to bring to you guys keep you guys informed so that's it for now until next time